Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is Excel sheet column number. Given a column title as appearing in an Excel sheet, return its corresponding column number. If you've used Excel before, you know that every column has a letter attached to it, and every letter indicates a column number. A through Z is 1 through 26, but once we've reached a Z, we start having double letters, AA for 27, AB for 28, and so on and so forth. So immediately we know that we can use the ORD function in Python to get the corresponding number for each alphabetical letter. So simple enough. But what do we do about these double letters? Say we have AB. Uh, we know that A is 1 and B is 2, right? So can we just add those together? No, because that's going to equal 3. We want the output 28. So knowing this, uh, we begin to realize that the position matters. At A, the second position, that indicates that we've gone through the alphabet completely already. So at the very least, this is going to be 26, if there, or 27 rather, if there's a letter there. And if it gets to B, that means we've repeated the alphabet twice. So, so that's going to be 26 times 2. If it's C, then it'd be 3 times, 26 times 3, and so on and so forth. So at this second position, we want to multiply whatever number it is by 26. What about the third position? Well, that would mean we've gone through the alphabet 26 times, right? So that's 26 times 26. Uh, and we'll just multiply that by whatever number that is. So quickly, you realize every position is an exponential number uh, the, to multiple of 26. And we can just start at the very right, find whatever number that is, move to the next one. Now, find what number that is and multiply that by 26. Now, move to the next one, find whatever number that is and multiply it by 26 to the 26 and so on and so forth. So okay, pretty straightforward method. Let's go ahead and try to solve this. Um, first, we want to have a couple of variables. We want the multiplier, and that's just going to equal 1. And we also want, I guess, the column. And we'll start with 0. So uh, to get this to work correctly, we want to start from the very right and move to the left. So we'll have to go reversed. So for i in uh, range of, let's see, length of s minus 1 all the way to minus 1, decreasing by minus 1. So first thing we want to do is calculate the ORD for this string. And we actually need to subtract this by 64 to get the number to correspond to like a to 1 and b to 2 and so on and so forth. And we want to add that to our column, right? So we'll say increase our column by whatever this number is. But keep in mind, depending on what position we're at, we need to multiply that by the multiplier. So right now, at the very first position, we're going to be just be multiplying by 1. But once we want to move to the next one, we want to increase that and multiply it by 26. And once we finish our loop here, we can just return our column number. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and submit that. Uh, OK, A, what about A, B? What's that give us? And it looks like it's working, so let's submit that. And there we go. So this was the straightforward method. Uh, can we do better than this? Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it. I mean, there's only seven, going to be seven positions. Um, there might be some way, some way to do this, but uh, this seems fast enough, as far as I can tell. Uh, it doesn't use much memory, so we'll just go with this solution, and uh, that'd be it. So thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.